Boss for years, niggas thought I did a bit. I'm dragging it. Finish the lyrics down below. New York City. Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to Big Brother Styles. And today is episode seven of what people are wearing in New York City. Y'all, we going to L Train Vintage. We going to the East Village. We going to the West Village. Thank y'all for showing me so much love and support. Your boy got his gloves, so we gonna be outside all night long, all night. Without further ado, let's get straight into episode seven. To the train and back home before yeah. I gotta get on the flight tomorrow. That's it. Yeah, don't, don't. Got this brother sporting this all black look. I love the black leather pants along with the black wool coat and the mustard color scarf gave the outfit a pop. Checking in, checking in. So you guys, I'm leaving L Train Vintage because I ain't found nobody drippy like that over here. No offense. I'm heading over to the East Village to see what looks I could find. Last night I was talking to my mom's, right? So we was trying to figure out the East from the West Village. So she was like, you put me on the game. She said, I'm learning from you. So I was like, Ma, I think I got it. I think I got it. So I confused myself. And long story short, my mom's was like, you see? She said, you think you got it all figured out? Slow down, Buster. I'm dead. <laughs> What's up, brother? What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, so my name's Donovan, so I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the building, dog. What's up? Could you describe your look for us today? I love uh, that North Face puffer, so, man. Yeah, thank you, bro. Yeah. So uh, I basically got the extra butter uh, collab yeah. like a couple years ago. That's dope. Uh, uh, Noah sweater, Noah's um, vintage jeans, and yeah. uh, one point two. Oh, that's fire, man. That's dope. So if you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? Hey, like never stop. Just keep going. Bro. Never stop. Like, just keep going. Like, People have opinions, but like, you know, at the end of the day, it's just you for yourself, so you know, yeah. just keep grinding, bro. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Well, thanks a lot for your time, bro. I appreciate it. Next up, I spotted this young lady walking along 14th Street Union Square with this two-tone puffer jacket. I feel like this is a Zara's collaboration. A few months ago, Zara's did the collab. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but this is a super dope jacket. I felt like it made the outfit pop. That's a white Carhartt beanie on her dome, and I love those trouser pants. Next up, I spotted this king in Soho wearing this long camo wool coat with his white jeans and black wallabies. I love this casual look right here, especially the shades. Moving right along, I spotted this young lady walking in the East Village. I love her long wool coat along with those light colored jeans and snakeskin boots. This created a casual streetwear infused look, which I love. Next up, we got this guy spot in the East Village rocking this North Face X Supreme puffer jacket and those Nike bone spray paint designs. I love this overall streetwear vibe. This next gentleman at West 4th Street, and I love this red wine color fur. Oh my God, this fur is giving luxury, is giving first class. Amen. What's your name? And where are you from? Uh, my name is Keith. I'm from Harlem. Okay. Oh, oh, Harlem in the building. Oh, no, shoulders. No, no. Yes. Keith, what inspired your look, man? I know you said you just got off of work, but I'm loving the boots. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I like friends gotta work, but you know, always keep it cute. I yeah. work, out of work, whatever. Okay, okay, I feel you. And what advice would the older you give to your younger self? Would the older me give to my younger self? Yeah. Uh, I would tell my younger self yeah. to not fuck with that nigga I met in March 2020. Oh, okay, oh, oh, period, period. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your time. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. So that concludes episode 7 of what people are wearing in New York City, East Village, West Village, and L Train Vintage, you guys. The past two days, the weather in New York City has been shit, so I think it scared a lot of the fashionistas off. I've been walking the streets like a madman looking for people and barely found anybody. But thanks to you guys that participated in today's video, my personal favorite looks from today's video was the long wool plaid coat along with the Legos red heart brooch. I thought that red heart Legos brooch was super fire, you guys, along with his frames. He had a very studious look, that guy, even though he was running around taking care of last minute business for his trips. I loved his outfit. My second favorite outfit was the Extra Butter X North Face Puffer Jacket. Do you guys remember, um, let's say for example, late night, you'll be flipping through the TV and then you'll click a certain channel and it'll have a bunch of like different multicolored lines on the channel. That's the inspiration I got from that jacket. I loved it. It was super loud. It was vibrant and it was one, one of a kind. It had its own little unique twist to it. And he was super cool to his Jordans too. My third favorite look had to be that girl's two-tone puffer jacket, the lime green 
and Grey Bottom. I feel like that was a Zara's collab, you guys. I remember a few months ago when I went to Zara's, um, Zara's and some other brand had did a collaboration and that brand had its own separate section. So I think that coat, ah, damn, rips her a little. Fourth favorite look was the Supreme X North Face with the Statue of Liberty in the front. I love the fact that Supreme or North Face pay homage to the city with that Statue of Liberty design. And also, I love that kid's kick. It had like a bone design, like it was a pair of all black uptowns, but it had some type of spray paint bone design. And my ex, I was like, yo, what collab is this? And he was like, he didn't know. He was like, it just came out. I love the burgundy fur, you guys. Y'all know how I feel about a fur, man. Oh my God, that burgundy fur was just fire and i forgot to record but he had an lv book bag one so i made it look extra good i didn't personally like the way how he paired his outfit together but i definitely did love the fur moving on to my last favorite piece it had to be um the lady with the snakeskin boots along with the plaid wool coat and the cap i love the way how she mixed her outfit together you guys it was sort of kind of like a street wheel look kind of running around errands look and i thought that that was super dope i love the fact that with fashion is a self-expression and you can do whatever you want Thank you guys for honestly supporting me so much, 110%. Without y'all, there's no me. Also, make sure y'all add me on Instagram at D-O-N-C-H-I-N-O-O -O because we have to figure out a name for the channel. We already have three names so far, um, and I'm going to be doing a poll, like one of those Instagram polls, so you guys can let me know which name y'all like the best and whatever two names that we come down to for the final decision i'll do a poll on those two names and then we could still narrow down our options from there um and if you guys are enjoying the content make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe as always thank you for all of my current subscribers shout out to all of my new subscribers that's coming in and everybody telling me that they just love the videos and keep it coming and this is another thing I want to say. Shout out to the haters. I'm not addressing you no more after this. There's a lot of negative Nancy's that entered the chat. Yo, T, I'm still in your lingo. And if you don't like my content, don't watch it. I don't understand why you would watch somebody's content and still have something negative to say. I'm open to constructive criticism, criticism as a whole. But one thing I'm not going to allow you to do is play me down in the comment section. So moving forward, I will not respond to any negative comments. I'm going to make you look stupid and I'm going to heart your dumb ass comment at the end of the day. Because the love is always going to outweigh the hate. And you wonder why your ass don't dance. So you wonder why every week your ass don't dance. But shout out to all my real I love you out a long way. See you next time. Peace. Peace.